Hello and welcome to the European Vocational Skills Week 2019 communications webinar and um, how to promote your event or activity for European Vocational Skills Week. Um, we're just going to wait for a couple more people to uh, arrive and, and then we'll get started properly. Okay, let's get started. Uh, to those who just joined us, hello and welcome to the communications webinar for European Vocational Skills Week 2019 and um, how to promote your event or activity for European Vocational Skills Week. My name is James Williamson and I'm a senior communications consultant at ACARIS. I've been involved in the week since 2018 and I'm delighted to be your presenter today. I have lots of interesting tips and tricks for you to make your event a success, um, but before we get started with all the interesting content, I just need to go over some technical details to make your webinar experience as, as easy as possible. Um, you should see the attendee interface on your own computer desktop, and you should be listening in using your computer's speed system. Um, to the right uh, is the GoToWebinar control panel. There you can submit questions by simply typing them into the questions box. There'll be time for questions at the end of the webinar. Don't be shy and uh, please do share your questions because they will be useful for all participants here today. And if you're having any issues during the presentation, you can always contact us um, by, by email at uh, info at vocationalskillsweek.eu. Okay, let's get started. Um, you will have registered your event already by the European Vocational Skills Week registration page. Um, if you haven't, then, um, then please do, but the, 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 the focus of today will be to talk about how to make the best of your event or activity. First, I'll go through the agenda. Um, we'll talk about what you'll learn in this webinar, um, then about Vocational Skills Week, you'll learn what it's about, the mission of the campaign, uh, the success we've had in previous years, how we and how we hope to build on those successes, uh, the target groups and key messages so you can ensure that your messages align with the overall European Vocational Skills Week messages and so we can speak with one voice. Um, then we'll go on to the top 10 tips and the top 10 tools and supports. Uh, these are a range of convenient tools you can use to make promoting your event easier and more efficient. Then we'll go on to the evaluation section, uh, talking about how you can feedback on the support received through, through the year. And finally, we'll do a Q&A and summary of what we've learned. So section one about this webinar. Here we want to discuss what you're going to learn. What we'd like you to know by the end of this webinar is what European Vocational Skills Week is all about, which key messages to use, how to promote your event, how to get support from us, and how to feed back to us. Again, if, if you have any questions or anything else you'd like us to cover, we'll try to address that during the time we have. Um, I'd also like to mention that we'll be um, Occasionally there will be quizzes um, throughout the webinar. Uh, these are only to, to help with uh, remembering. Um, and there's no test, there's no real test. We, we, we won't be giving you the results apart from the answers. Um, so don't worry too much if you get the answers wrong. So um, on to section two. About European Vocational Skills Week. What is the campaign about? The campaign is an initiative to raise the awareness Awareness and Attractiveness of Vocational Education and Training, BET, from the European Commission. At the heart of the campaign are activities and events organised by stakeholders like you in EU member states and EFTA and ETF countries. The central events take place in Helsinki between the 14th and the 18th of October 2019, though I should emphasise that events across Europe can take place at any time during the 2019. Our mission. 
Our mission is to showcase the numerous opportunities that vocational education and training can provide for young people and adults. This is crystallised in the campaign's motto, Discover Your Talent. You'll also see it in our hashtag. This is what the campaign's all about, learners discovering their talent. Secondly, it's our ambition to make stakeholders, including co companies and employees, realise the enormous potential and benefits of investing in human resources. By engaging in initial skills provision for young people, as well as upskilling and reskilling of adults. What we're saying is that both initial vet and continuing vet is important to this campaign. Finally, we aim to validate the choice learners make when they choose to study vet by showing its competitive value. In other words, vet is a smart choice to pursue successful and exciting careers. Okay. So since 2016, we've seen the number of events participating in European, European Vocational Skills Week grow year on year. In 2018, we hit more than, hit more than 1,850 events and 2.4 million participants. This year, we're hoping for even more. The website and our social media channels are major hubs for those interested in VET. We had more than 100,000 visits to uh, the web pages last year and we reach more than 39 million with the campaign social media hashtags. We direct our users to our map, map of events where all the events are promoted, and we're keen to engage with registered events by social media too. Now I'd like to share our highlights video from last year to give you a taste of what European Vocational Skills Week is all about. I'm very happy to welcome you again to this third European Skills Week. The Bank Week this week has been a huge success. There's a lot of government bodies here and people there create all the policies and the Ministry of Education and that all we can really do is be honest and tell our own story. Figuring out what my passion was with chocolate, it gave me this kind of ability, let's say, to, uh, to create stuff and work more with my hands. Many people who go into bed lack the basic skills which should be provided by general education, compulsory education, so this is something we really have to thank you. about that the um, video seems to, to not complete but um, I think you get the picture of, of um, what that's all about and what um, the events are all about from that um, so moving on to key messages and target groups uh, these messages the key thing with any campaign is that the campaign speaks with one voice this sums up what we want to tell people about that and using these messages will help will strengthen the impact of the week and help to promote that across Europe. We have a range of different target groups. We have an overall messages, but also sub-messages to different groups. So firstly, for the, for the general public, for all, all, all stakeholders, every person has a unique talent. Let vocational education and training help you discover yours. Vocational education training is worth investing your time in, as it offers a huge range of opportunities and benefits as well as opening up new possibilities for the future for young learners and their parents. Vocational education training helps young people pursue successful and exciting careers and achieve their full potential. Vocational education and training helps young learners gain a competitive edge with qualifications which are valuable to employers and recognised across industries. 
vocational education training is a smart choice, is fun, improves employability, and leads to high quality jobs. Adult learners. There are great vocational training opportunities that can help you to pursue an interesting and challenging career, as well as engaging actively in society. It is never too late. Vocational education is a great option for people of all ages. Adult learners all over Europe and the rest of the world are already taking advantage of opportunities. So why not join them? Learning throughout life helps to increase your employability, develop your personal skills, and boost your social opportunities. And finally, for businesses, vocational and education, sorry, vocational education and training provides employees with the skills they need to find to fill the skills gap in companies. So please do use all these messages in your outputs. The more we speak with one voice, the better we'll get a message across. Now onto this year's theme. Finally, um, in this part of the webinar, I'd like to discuss this year's theme. This year, it is Bet for All, Skills for Life. Best Bet is uh, sometimes misleadingly characterizes for certain demographics, for young people, um, for example. We need to pay attention to learning for the whole of life, whether it's younger and older, formal, informal. We want to get digital involved and see learning in a continuum. Learning needs to include all, so we shouldn't forget certain groups, minority groups, disadvantaged groups, that have difficulty accessing learning in the same way. This year, VET tries to counteract that by communicating the inclusive and lifelong aspects of VET. The key points here are that VET can provide you with additional valuable and useful skills that can increase uh, job opportunities, and VET is flexible and can be adapted to individual needs. Um, also, adult learning improves innovative performance for the company and high, higher incomes and improved employability for learners. Okay, so now it's your first quiz, a test to see what has been learned so far. What you'll need to do is fill in the missing words and I'll bring up each question one by one and um, and we'll see see how many people have got the right answer. So the first the first question is um, the main objective of European Vocational Skills Week is to raise something and something. Okay, great. Um, I'm glad to see most most people um, have have got it right. Awareness and attractiveness, um, quality and quantity, and mobility and diversity. I'm sure they're it's very valuable, but the, the, the main objective is awareness and attractiveness. Um, so moving on to the second question, what is the campaign's motto? Something your something. Okay, uh, nearly, nearly unanimous, but that is, just, it, it, the majority have it right there, it's discover your talent. Um, you may notice that there was also the hashtag in the bottom left hand corner of the screen um, as well. Um, question number three. What is this year's theme? Is it vet for all, skills for life? Vet for life, skills for all? Or vet for you, skills for Europe? Okay, great. This year's theme is vet for all, skills for life. What are the missing words in this key message for young people? Vocational education and training is a smart choice, is fun, improves employ employability, and leads to high quality jobs. That's right, it's smart choice, employability, and jobs. Okay, moving on. Okay, map promotion. So this is the central promotional area for Skills Week. This is where, this is where potential participants from, from across Europe will be able to find events closest to them. We run a social media campaign so people can find a local event or activity relevant to them in their vicinity. This ensures that your event can be found by your target audience. It is the centerpiece for ensuring that, that your event and each event receives promotion. Just going to go through the website quickly just to show you where you can find this. It's um, 
we'll be we'll be driving lots of people to this page, but just so you know where it is, uh, go to in your country, and a, a map will display shortly there. Um, you can also access it, and an alternative to the home page, just right at the top of that, the interactive map. Right, so this is the zoomed out map, and um, the closer you get in, the more the more detail you'll see. And so, so um, for example, if we were to look for an event in, let's say, uh, southwestern Germany, um, we would find. There we go. There is one in um, Leinheim and one in Heidelberg. Um, clicking on that, you can see all the information that you need in um, English and in the original German. Um, it shows when the event's happening, description of the event, uh, what is taking place in that in in that place, and um, the type of event, how many people are expected, as well as information about how to contact at the event and how to participate in it, especially the website. Now. Not only that, you can also look for an event that's most suitable for you. So at the moment, you've got all of the events there. But say you wanted to find an event in, let's say, Slovakia. Um, and we wanted it to be uh, focused on uh, run by the EU agency. And there you are. There's one event taking place there called the Future of Debt for the Labour Market. So you can, so so people can find out events not just that are close to them, but are also most relevant to them. So we'll move we'll move back to the PowerPoint now. Now, this isn't strictly a tool, but this page will allow you to access all the other tools. This is the resources page. Here we'll be putting everything, whether it's the webinars, the toolkits, the fact sheets, the guidelines, the templates, the posters, the social media content. Everything is available on this page. You can become fully aligned and linked in with the umbrella campaign, whether it's the visual identity, social media, or media relations. So the second tool I want to discuss with you today is the communications toolkit and fact sheet. So, sorry, I'll just show you the resources page on the website first. Um, so you'll find that if you just go to resources, it's right there. And that leads me into the toolkits. So that second tool I want to talk to you today is the communications toolkit, which is available here. There you go. This toolkit is for event and activity organizers to help you promote and organize your campaign. A lot of this information, it, you'll also be hearing from me today, but the communications toolkit is obviously much easier to refer to. It also explains what the campaign is all about, how to use it, there are the key messages, how to organize an event or activity for anybody who hasn't organized an event. And by the way, you can organize more events if you like, or ask other colleagues or, or contacts to do so. It shows the broader support we offer and other ways of increasing your impact, ideas for social media, ideas from media relations, and ways of contacting us. Uh, we also have a fact sheet, which is available on the web page. Um, fact sheets. Now, the toolkits are available in all European languages, but the fact sheets are available in English only. But they're a really good um, one page, easy to read guide uh, that tell you everything you need to know about organizing an event in one, in one brief uh, shot. So moving on, we offer a range of different kinds of support. I'd like to talk to you about, talk to you about where you can find that support. Firstly, we have a closed Facebook group for organizers. 
you wouldn't have been invited to join when you first signed up for your event, or subsequently um, after you, um, or already after you joined up your you joined your event. Um, here you can share your ideas and best practice with other other organisers. You can also collaborate in other ways too, by for example organising joint or linked events. It's also a great place to celebrate successful events and activities. You can ask us questions on Facebook too. We always try and respond within 24 hours. However, if you'd like to contact us directly um, and, and more discreetly, you can contact us via email or telephone and the details are there. But you can also find them on the toolkits and they're, both, you know, they're available on the website too. We welcome any requests for support or questions, whether it's to solve a problem or to ask for some kind of collaboration by social media or media relations or a request for promotional materials. We'd also like to direct you to our ambassadors. The ambassadors are there to be inspiration for learners from all corners of life, whether they are young people deciding on future careers and educational pathways to pursue, or adults to continue considering options for upskilling, reskilling, or pursuing their lifelong experience, lifelong learning experience. However, they are also there to promote European Vocational Skills Week and its objectives, namely the attractiveness and excellence of that in their respective country all over the EU. So um, if you go to the website um, you, and you're looking to say the Croatian ambassador, you can see there his contact details. Um, we encourage organisers to reach out to their ambassadors who may be able to support with, for example, a quote from a press release or a retweet to give your event a little bit more publicity um, and visibility where you are. We also have pan-European ambassadors in case your country isn't covered yet. Um, partner stickers. You will have been sent one of these partner stickers when you first signed up for your event. They are available, they are available in every language. Um, this is how you identify yourself as an official event of the campaign. You can place these on your website or your social media channels. Um, you can also print them out and place them at the venue of your event. If you don't have one of these yet, please let us know by email and we'll send you one as long as you have a registered event. Okay. On to social media support. We're very keen that all organisers spread their own message within their own network. We have a range of different social media assets you can use. We're having a separate social media webinar, but we can cover the, the main points here today too. So let's Okay, back on the resources page. Toolkits and social media toolkit. The first thing to look out for is the social media toolkit fact sheet. This goes through what, what is covered. More about European Vocational Skills Week 2019, the key campaign hashtag hashtags to use. We also recommend using discover your talent, hashtag discover your talent, and hashtag EU vocational skills. There are a range of different ways to interact with the campaign through social media, like Facebook, LinkedIn, and Instagram, as well as Twitter. You can also use our visual assets to create your own tailored social media content. So all the visual materials you'll find here on the resources page. Um, there, are, um, there, are, there are a selection of assets here, all available in 23 um, European languages. Uh, sorry, 24 European languages. There are, there's also the Visual Style Handbook. Here. And this shows you exactly how to use all of this content for your social media channels. It'll show you typography, hashtag visuals, basically all the technical details, all the colors you'll need, for example, about how you, you can actually implement this and make it look like you're part of the, the campaign. So back to the toolkit. The social media, media toolkit also contains some some of the posts um, that all, and some posts have already been drafted for you. Um, that you can share on your own channels and best practice recommendations for social media. 
Uh, we'll be doing a social, web, as I said, we'll be doing a social media webinar soon. So if you'd like more details on, the, on these matters, you can check there. And um, finally, videos. There'll be five vid videos for this for this campaign. Um, a promotional video for um, to, to encourage events to sign up. A day in the life of a uh, talk, um, sort of policy talk. And then an overview of vocational skills with events, European vocational skills with events, and a comprehensive overview of the week. And the first three are launched already, and you can find these on the website. If you just look at the homepage, they're right at the bottom. You can find them here. So please review those. These are easy to consume for the, um, the average user and easy to share content for you to use in your own pr promotions. So let's move on to the next quiz. Okay, so where can all the print videos? Uh, well done everybody, that is right, the resources page. Uh, where can you go for help and advice on any aspect of European Vocational Skills Week? It's absolutely right, it's the helpline. So you, of course you can go to your country's ambassadors for certain questions, and uh, they may be able to help. How do you learn more about social media? That's absolutely right, the social media toolkit and webinar. You can try searching on the website, but um, you're most likely to find it on, on, in the toolkit and the webinar. There's also the fact sheet as well. Question four, what documents do I use to ensure I'm following the campaign visual guidelines? Is actually the visual style handbook and um, the social media talk it does have some information about best practice but the visual style handbook is the best place to look and finally how many videos will the campaign be producing that you can use in your own promotions that's right it's five um, you can um, already access three of these on the, uh, the campaign's website and um, if you're um, so so please feel free to use those already. Uh, we're also expecting a few more short messages, which we may be able to add, so we may be able to provide more than five. Okay, we'll move on to the leaflet. The objective of the leaflet is for you to promote your events and activities to participants. It includes an introduction to Vocational Skills Week, or European Vocational Skills Week and its messages, in addition to space for you to fill in and tailor it relevant to the information about your activities and your own target audience. The leaflet is simple to edit with clear instructions for what you need to do. I'll just show you now. There we're at the bottom of the leaflet template. So here's the here's the view. So anything within square brackets you can edit and just make it relevant for your own event. So here you put in your event and activity title, here they make description, date, locations, etc. You can put um, the electronic sticker that you, you, that you received here. Um, all you need to do is click the grey circle placeholder, right click it and change the picture. So just like this. Right click, change picture and then you go to the file. Then we've got some information about uh, Skills Week centrally there. Um, and going on, you can put more information about your event and activity. Um, thinking about clicking, you can put more details, think, some suggested things to think about. Oh, what is your event actually trying to achieve? Who is the main target audience? How does it showcase how best opportunities help young people and adults to discover their talent? And there are more questions like that. Then we have details about social media, share your story, which I'll come to later. Some of the key messages in, in nice, easy to read sections for um, learners, get um, the general public just to, to read through and, and understand. And then a place for your logo. Again, it's the same process, just right click it, then go to change picture and then change the file. And you can put in all your own contact details just there. And then finally, the main central information. For the, the skills week. Um, you can print off the leaf these leaflets once you've edited them, you can print them off either professionally or using your organization's own printers. Going on to the media relations, 
tool. This toolkit encourages you to uh, encourages and supports you in approaching national, regional, and local media outlets, including newspapers, specialised media, online, TV, and radio. The toolkit provides you with a press release draft created to help you promote your events, and that's tailorable to your own needs. Uh, background information for the press, including ideas for local and regional press or radio stations. Um, there's some really, really nice facts in there that you can use um, that, would, that, would, that would really help. Audio visual resources, and it really encouraged that, that um, you can use those audio visual resources because the, uh, the media often like using those on their websites. Like the social media toolkit, the media relations toolkit gives tips and tricks for best media practice, uh, engagement, and advice, for example, in bringing your press release to life. And uh, finally, we'll also be running a, pro, um, a media relations webinar where we'll, where we'll be discussing all this in fine detail. So watch this space. Uh, number eight, uh, promotional materials. We have posters, pens, and t-shirts, which you can request via the info at vocationalskillsweek.eu email helpline. Please outline the type and quantity of the item you wish to receive. What's more, you can print off your own posters via the website and obviously the leaflets as well as you wish. Then we've got the templates. Um, further materials are available to create a range of items to support your event. The PowerPoint template can be used for presentations, projections and backgrounds at your event while the words document template can be used for your own agendas, reports, and briefings. These are totally editable, you can, you can put in your own content there and use them for your events. Um, then finally, out of the tools, share your story and the Best Excellence Awards. So these are two really, really great um, ways of getting the general public uh, involved and more engaged in Skills Week and a range of different stakeholders as well. Anybody with uh, a link to VET can, su uh, can submit a story. This could be a trainer who's changed someone's life, or a learner who's, giving, who's training has given her a new career. All relevant stories will be posted, and everybody who submits their story and has it accepted will receive a badge which can be used on social media, for example. There's also the opportunity for additional promotion for for your event, activity, and organization if your story gains story of the month status. I'll just show you that this month is or last month's rather um, story of the month. So you'll find all the stories here. So you can share your story here. And we encourage you to respond in a certain way, which makes it a bit more easy. And here's here's August's story of the month about, uh, which is a European partnership um, to acquire key competences and practical skills in the field of public nutrition. So here we are, you can vote on, on, all, on your favourite um, story by that link, by, sorry, by these, these little thumbs up. Then we'll go back to the PowerPoint. The Vet Excellence Awards are one of the highlights of the week in Helsinki. However, everybody has a say in who wins. There are a variety of categories and we'll be launching the voting function soon. So please share this amongst your networks. We'll be sharing the link to the voting via the, via the um, regular email that goes out. And finally, the final quiz. Number, question number one, how do you request promotional items? Is it by the by email, by a web link, or you don't have to request promotional items. Okay, the majority put it right again uh, via the info at vocationalskillsweek.eu email is how you best uh, request promotional items. So which tools can, are, are you able to edit and tailor for your own needs? Is it the press release, the leaflets, the Word template and PowerPoint template, all the visual assets, or all of the above. That's right, you can't really go wrong there. They're all, they're all correct. And what are the next webinars about? Is it social media and media relations, 
organizing your event or sharing your story. Well done to everybody who got that right. It's social media and media relations. And finally, how you submit your story. Is it via the website, via Facebook, or by email? Clearly, everybody, most people, and well, nearly everybody has been paying attention, and uh, it is via the website. Um, we'll be very, actually be very happy to receive them by email as well. We carry out an, event, an annual evaluation for the support received by event and activity organizers during the campaign. There will be a link to a survey being sent to participants by email to complete in the next days, and it would be great if you complete it. That's a survey for the, your overall support, um, so please do complete that when you get the chance. Um, there will also be a separate evaluation for this webinar. So um, we'll just move on to the summary, and um, really just get the key points here. European Vocational Skills Week is about raising awareness and attractiveness of vocational education and training. The campaign slogan is discover your talent. Using the key messages for the right target groups will ensure that the campaign speaks with one voice. There are a range of tools you can use to promote and maximize the success of your event. And you can use a Facebook group, a helpline, and ambassadors to gain additional support. And now we'll just move on to the Q&A. It's question time. Let me know uh, any thoughts you have or questions by typing them out, if you haven't already done so. Um, so I've got a question here. Um, so is it possible to find the campaign materials in other languages aside from English? Um, it is. Um, I'll just show you on the website. And do, do please add any additional questions you may have as you uh, as we, as we just go through this point. So if you go to the resources page, and we go, for example, to the guidelines, how to organize your events, just click there, and then all of the different languages. Any more questions? So you um, use a poll as promotion. Is this via Facebook? Um, if so, I think that's probably best covered in the social media one. Uh, but obviously, it is a it is a it is a good way of promoting. Um, but you might try it other ways as well. Um, somebody's asked about the promotional materials. Um, yes, you will receive an answer. We're just going through those um, those material the, the requests now. Um, and how should we broach the topic of Brexit? Um, I'm afraid I think that that's a bit above my pay grade. Um, but um, we have a question on Facebook. Any more questions? I think Michael Miller, um, going back to the topic of Brexit, will um, we can feel free to send us an email about that. We can we can we can try and get a more detailed response for you. Okay, I think that's all the questions for now. Um, we'll just move to the final page, and thank and thank you all for attending this webinar. I hope you found the information useful, and that your and I hope that your event is a success. Um, if you have any more questions or you think of any after this, please contact info at vocationalskillsweek.eu. Once you leave today's webinar, you will receive a survey on the presentation. We'd appreciate if you would complete that and provide your feedback. If you love the webinar so much and would like to watch it again or share it with your colleagues, don't worry. We'll also follow up within a week or so with a link to, a, to view a recording of today's webinar. On behalf of EU Vocational Skills Week, Thank you for joining us today. Enjoy the rest of the day and best of luck again with your events.